For 2022, the Santa Cruz Heckler has been redesigned to become more of a do-it-all machine. And in this video, I'm gonna run you through all the new things you need to know about this bike. But before I get into those details, why not give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more cycling news and tech. So what's actually changed? The 2022 Heckler shares a lot of its ride DNA with the brand's Bronson. Santa Cruz have built the new Heckler around a mixed wheel design called the MX and also a 29 inch wheel version. The brand says it's designed its MX version to keep composure in the steepest and deepest trails and keep its agility while cornering. As I mentioned, there's a 29 inch wheel option available and that's built for maximum rollover and traction. This is the new bike behind me in the MX version. We've only just got it and I've only had a very brief ride on it, but I'm keen to test out if those claims are true. Oh, and if you didn't know already, it's an e-bike. Let us know what you think about Santa Cruz making an e-bike in the comments. That change to the wheels isn't the only one made to the Heckler. It also now boasts a larger 720 watt hour battery over the previous generation's 504 watt hour. The travel has increased as well on the bikes to 150 millimeters for both the MX and 29er version. There's also a few geometry tweaks. What's more, there's now an added flip chip to the lower link. This helps you tailor the geometry to your preferred riding style. The Heckler will be available in five sizes for the MX version, from small to extra, extra large, and in four sizes for the 29er bike, from medium to extra, extra large. As a side note, the size small is 650B wheels only. There are five models to choose from. The base model starts at £6,999, and the top spec model comes in at an astonishing £11,699. Now I'm going to run through the frame's key details. Santa Cruz is using carbon for all their frames and all but the highest spec Heckler X01 Access Reserve uses the brand's C carbon layup. The top spec bike uses their CC carbon layup, which features the same strength and stiffness properties, but for a lighter weight. Do you think Santa Cruz have made the right decision making their top spec Heckler a little bit lighter? Let us know what you think in the comments. The Heckler now features a bigger seat tube tunnel, so the bike will fit a coil shock if you're into that. Something I want to mention is that Santa Cruz have built specific frames for each wheel size and they're not cross compatible. Santa Cruz has forgone the standard 504 watt hour Shimano battery to power its EP8 motor and uses a third party 720 watt hour battery. We were told this is still covered by Shimano's warranty. The battery can be removed with a single 4mm Allen key or can be charged on the bike. The bike uses Santa Cruz's VPP suspension platform and delivers 150mm of real world travel on both the MX and the 29er versions. This is matched to 160mm travel fork. The kinematics for the new Heckler we've been told have been tweaked, but we get more details on that when we put the Heckler through its paces for a full review. If that's a video you'd like to see, let us know in the comments. And finally, on frame details, there's boost hub spacing, hefty chainstay protection, internal cable routing, and space for a water bottle. All the features you'd expect to see on a modern mountain bike. Geometry wise, the reach numbers for the MX version have increased by 10 millimeters in the bike's high setting over the previous model. They now start at 430 millimeters with a size small in the high setting, which is the stock setting on the bike. They jump up to 455 millimeters for the size medium, 475 millimeters on the size large, 495 millimeters for the extra large, and finally 520 millimeters for the extra extra large. So in theory, most people should be able to find a size that suits them. In the low setting, all these values shrink by three millimeters. In the stock high setting, the MX bike features a head tube angle of 64.8 degrees, and that slackens to 64.5 degrees in the bike's low setting. Steeper seat tube angles have become more important on modern mountain bikes for a better climbing position. 
The medium frame Santa Cruz Heckler behind me has a 76.8 degree effective seat tube angle. For the other sizes, it's the same there or thereabouts up to the steepest 77 degree effective seat tube angle on the extra large and the extra extra large. Now, these seat tube angles are pretty contemporary from Santa Cruz and it'd be interesting to see if they help the bike's climbing abilities. The frames all share the same 445 millimeter chainstay lengths in the high setting and 446 millimeters in the low setting. Santa Cruz claims that Heckler has a 446 mm bottom bracket height in the high setting, but this is dependent on your tyre pressures and what tyres you run. In the low setting, this should drop by 4 mm. The geometry for the 29er bike is built around the same figures, with the only significant difference being the 460 mm chainstays. Let's take a look at a couple of the build options. The range starts with the R model and comes in at £6,999. I don't have full US pricing yet, but check out bikeradar.com for all the latest information. This is spec with the RockShock Super Deluxe Select Rear Shock and RockShock Lyric Select Fork. It runs SRAM NX Drive Chain and Shimano's EP8 Drive Unit. The top spec X01 axis reserve is a whopping £11,699. Again, check bikeradar.com for US pricing. Like I mentioned earlier, you get the lighter, higher spec CC carbon frame. You also get a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate Rear Shock and Fox 36 factory level suspension fork. Unsurprisingly, it's got SRAM X01 axis gearing and reserve carbon 30 front and DH rear rims built onto Industry 9 one one hubs. So that's the 2022 Santa Cruz Heckler. What do you think? Were Santa Cruz right to move to the more popular Muller and 29er size wheels? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. So every time we post a new video, you get a notification.